Welcome back, friend of Renaults. I hmm. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. <laughs> Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. He... Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Yeah, anyway, it wouldn't either. She gets that sentiment. <sighs> Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Do 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 do. Commander, I assume everything's going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. <laughs> it won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. <laughs> Edie has a valid concern, Joker. Knock it off. What? Come on! No padding, understood? What's the point of being a corporate ship if you can't inflate your results? <laughs> 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 this man is beautiful. But yeah, she's always been rather no nonsense by the books in regards to things like this anyway. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Um I like that there's a bunch more Joker stuff in this game. You know, the the whole, you know, the ability to ask uh how things are going and there's all sorts of different I'm pretty sure you basically like as long as you talk to him in between missions and stuff, he just has stuff for the rest of the game. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Let's see here. But hold on no, this is the stuff I have. I'm looking at things that I would want to get. Ooh, now I can do assault rifle damage to a five. I'm pretty sure I can now do Penetration as well. Yes. Plus 25 assault rifle damage against armor shields and biotic barriers. Very beautiful. Give me that. Now, uh, thinking, thinking, thonking. Do I talk to Zaid after this? I mean, I suppose. I don't know if he has anything special to say about that, but he probably does. Let me see. I don't actually remember, but we're about to find out. And then I might make a round just to make sure no one has anything to say, but I don't think that's really going to be the case because this is a s DLC side mission. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, it's really only add Zaid and some interactions and stuff with him, and you know, and so I, I have this feeling that other people don't really gonna have much to say right now because. Um, they're used, you know, because, like, you know, when they made the game, uh, that, that progression was more along the natural lines of the game. This came after, as far as I'm aware. Actually, did it release with ME2? I don't remember if this released with ME2, like, on the same day, or if it was later. Anyway, hello. Back for another lesson. Yep, hello. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. Yeah, okay, so he does mention it. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Okay, that feels yeah, better, Jewer. Solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. Yeah, she she did sort of get that sense, and that's why she grinned and bear it, bared it, as they say. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanar. <laughs> jellyfish nearly choked me to death. <laughs> Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a hand us since. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later. Alrighty. Nice natural break points. I like, I like that the game uh, made sure of that. And uh, that's what I tend to do, is I tend to just hear him say that, and then I'll go and come back to him after the next mission or so. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. Love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> I love these two. Uh. What can we do for you, Commander? 
So, like, what is their fucking relationship? <laughs> because I think they're just really close friends. I'm pretty sure you could ask them about it, but I have no idea what they are like to each other. I feel like they're just really close friends, but some of the things Ken says specifically... Carry on. Like, they clearly are friends bordering on, like, I don't know. I think they're just really close friends and they can joke about that kind of a thing, but I don't know. Are they actually friends with benefits or, like, lovers? I don't think so. I don't know if that's ever implied. I think they're just close friends, but that, that was funny. <laughs> I love it when you're talking dirty. I, I was kind of trying to do his accent, but I don't like butchering accents, and that's normally what I do when I attempt them. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not do that, eh? Um. Now, granted, maybe I could sit and learn how to how to emulate accents better. Perhaps, but I haven't done that, so I'm gonna try it on stream. <sighs> Oopsie. What can we do for you, Commander? Or not stream, but, uh, I mean, well, stream, recording, same difference, really. <sighs> In that sense, anyway. Anywho! Uh, words. Um, I kind of want to check people. Um, I'm going to make the rounds and check people. Engineering's done. Let's just work our way up the ship. Uh, do I? Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Miranda. We haven't talked to her at all yet, really. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? They aren't as evil, but they still definitely are evil, in my opinion. Especially because the elusive man's in charge, and what he does in 3. I... <clears throat> in fact, she's probably the most... Uh, curious about him, but she has a feeling that Miranda won't have much to say about him. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Mm, I don't know about that. They definitely could. Like Shepard herself, alone, without the elusive man, kind of basically forcing her to go along his path. Oh, yeah. know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. Uh, I don't know about that, especially because Cerberus has nothing to do with the militaries of... the mil you know, the Alliance military. Like, they're... They, the Alliance military actively dislikes them. But, uh, as far as I'm aware. But, hey. Uh. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She gets it. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Honestly, well, this conversation makes her a lot more comfortable with Miranda. Especially what she's about to talk about. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? 
That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Well, she is cocky, but she doesn't really want to talk about that and kind of trigger Miranda in that sense, perhaps. But, yeah, like, she, she's thinking that, but she's not going to talk about it. She's not going to say that. In fact, that's all she really wants to know. She kind of has a bit more respect for Miranda, though. She clearly has a bit of an ego thing going, at least as far as Shepard's concerned. But maybe it's a little bit more matter-of-fact. I really think that the way she's saying it, it's like, yeah, so, like, statistically she is definitely superior because of the fact that, you know, she was specifically made to be that way. I think that's literally what she's saying, a little bit more than being actually cocky. But, regardless, I don't really want to touch on that in the actual, like, she, Ada wouldn't want to touch on that, I should say. Anyway. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander, whatever you need. All right, so cool. So yeah, I, especially because Miranda has been very, very uh, amiable there. She wasn't amiable at first. She seemed very closed off at first to her, and now she's not. And she was very open um, at the end there. So yeah, she was a little more comfortable with her, and that's exactly probably what Miranda wanted. Maybe more for Cerberus's reasons than her own, but hey, still. Still uh, appreciated in Ada's eyes. Uh, hello there, Miss Sergeant Gardner. How can I help you, Commander? Well, um, I think, yeah, I think we haven't really talked. We don't, um, we don't really need. I won't to. take any more. There's nothing time. new here. In fact, I don't really think there's gonna be much new in his case for a while, as far as I'm aware. But I'll still be checking him from time to time, because the engineers down there certainly have a lot to say. Shepard, need me for something? I mean, I'll talk to him after I get his stuff, of course. Uh, his groceries and stuff on the shit, I know. But, uh, yeah. Are you talking to people, though? Hello, Gears. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Later, the calibrations. Okay, very important. So important, it takes up apparently most of his time outside of missions. <laughs> I know that's an ex I know that's just an in-game excuse to be like so yeah he doesn't have anything to talk about right now, but still I find that funny as most people do. It's that's a meme that is such a goddamn Mass Effect community meme at this point. It's not even funny. Okay, uh, Chakwas, anything you got to say? No, she's you, she's got nothing new. I'll see you later, Doctor. Come on. Huh? And I don't really like to do all these side investigate things. Maybe I'll end up doing them later, I don't know. But, uh, maybe not. Probably not, I would actually say. Um, I don't know. I don't really think all of it's necessary. Or things that Ada would say. I think that's mostly it. I don't think Ada would say a lot of that stuff. I don't know. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? All right. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. All right. So I do think that's basically it. Because uh, no, wait, hold on. Morden might have something, and Jacob might have something, and that's about it. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Hmm. Work on genophage was more than just study. Yeah, she had a feeling about that, but she didn't, you know, she didn't press it because she wanted him to feel comfortable here. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. See, the whole moral dilemma around the Krogan thing, what side of it would she be on? I'm not sure. I feel like she'd be on the Krogan side of it more. 
just because I feel like it's a little bit ridiculous. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. <laughs> Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Hmm. Well, she's not going to argue the morality of it. She just wants to hear what he has to say. So, yeah. Like, she's on the Krogan side here a little bit more. But she honestly does not want to impose her opinion on him. Like, she doesn't see a reason to. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. <sighs> you never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Hmm. Yeah, she understands where he's coming from there, and she's not going to argue with him after that. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Mm -hmm. Should get back Indeed. to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Good to know. I love him. He's beautiful. I love Morton. I don't agree with his stance on the genophage, really, but I like Morton. And she, Ada's the same, pretty much, so she's not really gonna impose upon him on that. Alright. Uh, Jacob. And then, um, then let's go for a motion. It's like a mission, but it has more O's. Wow. With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a relay. <laughs> You covered that. <laughs> yeah, she. this is the main thing. So She's a lesbian. She's not even interested in him at all. And I kind of dislike the flirty tone that is apparently happening here. I really feel like she's... Like, like she was basically told to be kind of flirty. Um, the voice actress. Um, oh, what was her name again? Uh, Elizabeth? I think that's her first name. Um, I forget her last. I forget her name. Ah, but I love I love Shepard's voice actress, and honestly, she is Shepard for me. I will never play male Shepard because I love her. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance. Not after the cover. They did the same to you. The general public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Well. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity, and they still dumped you. <laughs> it's nice to know someone like you is thinking about me. Knowing the real story was hard. It felt like... Well, maybe this isn't really appropriate, Shepard. Commander, I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. Hmm. Not blowing me off that easy, Mr. Taylor. Okay, yeah, I didn't. Uh, man, I kind of want to reload. She wouldn't be that goddamn flirty. You can shut him down later, but you're basically kind of. You kind of have to flirt with him at first. It, I don't like that. Uh, anyway, oh well. Uh, anyway. Oh well, yeah, I don't know. It's hard not to flirt. It's basically impossible, I think. Basically. You either don't talk to him or you flirt with him early on. So that's a lot of what she said there in the intonations. 
of to of what of how especially the intonations of her words not really what you'd say but i don't really have control over that so let's go to hold on what okay hold on a second and it just says hold on I, i'm trying to remember how to get back to hold on i need i need the mass relay that's what i need so where is it yeah there we go duh I was going in the right direction. I'm just a bit, uh, Durgany kerfluffled. Uh, there we go. Sometimes my mouse decides to be weird on this open world. So let's go ahead and refuel. I might not do the firewalkers. I kind of want to, actually, sort of. I kind of want to do the firewalkers right now. But I'm a little bit more inclined to not do them because they're fun little video game sections, but they also tend to be very hard for me and they're not really, you know, they're I like the being able to explore at your own pace thing that most of the rest of the game has to offer. So, yeah. Let's see here. Well, we have a bunch of stuff to do on Citadel. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do Citadel. Uh, there's there's a lot of side quests. There's a lot of fun exploration, uh, fun downtime we can have there. There's uh, we can get uh, Miss Sergeant Gardner's ingredients, and uh, yay! Let's do it. By the way, we have probes. We do not need probes for the rest of the game. Well, actually, wait. We're gonna probably need probes soonish, but yeah. So, I suppose the constructed by long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation is comfortable. 1.02 standard G's on the wards and light. 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium Ring. I love these scenes of entering the Citadel in ME1 and 2. They're so awesome to me. Always. <sighs> hmm. Also, nice shot of the wards here. So, we're gonna be taking Old Garrisy Boy and Morton. Alright, uh. Hmm. I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna save for fortification. For Morton, though, as, as always, I like to. Uh, actually, I'll just auto. Ah, shit! No! Okay, I thought auto for a second meant fill out this bar. No, that's not how it works. Okay, hurdy dirty. Mm. I've played this game before, friends. I promise. Anyway, uh, I really have like a good few dirty times. Morton's technical breakthroughs further increase the strength of his shields. Uh, so, okay, so health weapon damage shields. Uh, so, as per usual, so it's. It's the same amount of health. Uh, it's a little bit less shields, though. Uh, I, for more, I actually think I'm gonna maximize survivability. Uh, just to kind of mix things up a bit. It's really pretty small numbers. I don't think it honestly matters too much what you choose, but I mean, considering you can choose between them, I'm feeling that it does matter at least a little bit. But the number changed: 18 and 25. That doesn't seem very much, really. Um, anyway, doesn't seem very much of a difference to me. Uh, alright, so, uh, I think, yeah, she doesn't have anything else, I'll keep the mat talk. Uh, alright. Whew. Whew. 
Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for <laughs> yep. my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. I love these scenes here. I really love the cinematic nature of this entire DLC. And also, they did it. They did it pretty well in Zaid's uh, missions as well. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun, and if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. I love her. She's hot. She's got a nice booty, and uh, we should probably in less superficial terms, she's just awesome, and I love her attitude, night. and I love love how she dresses. I love the uh, the really cool. Um, I don't know, she's just got a really cool A aesthetic and B just general attitude and uh skill set and I love her personality and she's great. This is a 20 kilo slug. She's one of my favorite characters in this entire game. The main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to one point three percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a thirty-eight kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. Oof. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. <laughs> now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Keepers. <laughs> Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Hmm. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. <laughs> Indeed. But, but yeah, I'm not going to sit here and listen to that whole Marine spiel. It's funny, though. need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please? I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just yeah. mm -hmm. same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Mm -hmm. Can I help you, ma'am? So. Apparently to Garrus, this place ain't any better than Omega. That's a bit of a woof. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A Makes few sense. minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Minor, hey? Eh? Yeah, you think it would. Are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. And this is probably exactly why Garrus left. Yep, gotcha. Thanks for your time. Well, I mean, part of the reason. Alright. Anywho. I'm actually gonna save and quit here for now, friends. So I hope you all have a lovely day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to. And I will see you next time. Oh, yeah, Twitch and Twitter if you'd like to, friendos. Eat. Blah, blah.